Hey guys, Mary Meat, and welcome to another one of these unedited, shaky uh, videos of my altar. Um, it's that time of year, so uh, now we have our Yule altar. And yeah, so there are a couple things. I, I haven't quite finished this one, but I wanted to get it out in a reasonable time. So in case you wanted to use my altar for inspiration, you could do that. Um, I still want to get some more greenery to go up here in the teapot. Um, but, you know, and, and some other little things always find their way into my altar. Some of them are personal, so I don't really show them to you guys. But um, for the most part, this is done. So I've got my silver glitter candles here. Uh, they kind of match the stars that are in the garland over here. Um, I've got my two Yule box from Ikea. I love them. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that I love goats. And I also love antlers. Uh, these guys are fake, uh, which, you know, is good for my soul. <laughs> I'd like to get some naturally shed antlers someday, but um, they're kind of hard to find. So, yeah, one of these days I'll do that. So, this is my seasonal part of my altar. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this either. I, I just kind of keep adding little things and uh, that's my wheel of the year uh, made out of raffia. So yeah, so here now we've talked about this before. These things usually don't change. This is my, um, these are my shrines to Hecate and Persephone. I'm trying not to get my shadow in the shot. Um, the jar in the back there is a jar of things that I collected on the trip that are just like little natural things that we found along the way. And it's just kind of, it reminds me of nature, basically. Um, you know, the, the substance in the purple jar there is an incense that I made to Hecate. I need to make one for Persephone. Um, but it's surprisingly difficult to get all the ingredients together for the one that I want to do for Persephone. Um, the main thing that changes on this uh, tier of the altar are the stones here. And here I've got pyrite, two pieces of pyrite. I've got two pieces of aventurine and I've got a strophilite. And the pyrite and aventurine are for money. Uh, everything that I'm doing right now is kind of focused on getting my finances together. And the astrophilite is for life path work. And for that, I'm your girl's trying to find a job, basically. Um, you know, I've been doing tarot for a long time and writing, and the finances just aren't coming together. So uh, I'm trying to come up with something a little bit different, uh, a little bit more of a day job, if you will. So, yeah, so um, that's what that is for. And then down here, I still, I haven't really changed things much from Samhain. I'm still working on Poppet Magic. Uh, there are some herbs and some stones under those. Again, having to do with abundance, um, finding a job, that sort of thing. Uh, this is my Goddess of the Month. I have started drawing a Goddess of the Month. And you can read more about that in my Magical Month post on my blog, uh, which is www.amyravenson.com. And then every time I change the altar, I pull another one of these. I forget the name of this deck. I'll put it in the notes, but I pull another one of these just to give me something to kind of focus on. Um, so yeah. And then again, this hasn't changed. This is just things that I'm charging. I have all these little silver cups that I kind of don't honestly know what to do with. I may end up putting them underneath with the boxes down here. Um, because I use them sometimes, but not all the times. I know they're just kind of hanging out. So these are things that need to be charged. This is where I do my spell work. And I'm probably going to be changing that up in the next few weeks. Um, just because again, it's been there since Samhain. My shrines to my deities. Let me get a better picture of this Hecate without all the glare. She's so pretty. And then Persephone, oops, I'm trying not to get my shadow in there. And then again, this is the seasonal part, part of my altar where I just uh, decorate for the season. So, my candles go in. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. And um, I'll see you guys on in bulk. Blessed be, guys.